Becky, welcome back to my channel. I really want to make this video for you guys and I know probably ahead of time it's not gonna be very popular, but I thought it'd be really fun to make. And growing up, I always loved classic movies, black and white movies, musicals, all that stuff. I was obsessed with Fred Astaire and Clark Gable and Gene Kelly. And I love movies like that and I still do. And it's really exciting to me now that my oldest daughter is getting into some of these movies with me because there for a while, like if it was black and white or old, she wouldn't watch it at all. And so now she really likes Danny Kaye movies. And so I'm really excited about that because my mom and I would like sit up on the weekend and watch all classic movies like until all hours of the night. So it's really fun. And I just think it's, it's fun to share. I just thought it'd be fun to share with you guys some of my favorite kind of go-to feel good classic movies that everybody in the family can watch. That's another thing that's hard to do these days is find a movie that everybody can watch. It's appropriate. And so I have six today and I really hope that you guys will enjoy this video because I would love to do more of these for you to share even more favorite classic movies that I have or movie, movies in general, but especially, especially classic ones because I think a lot of times unless you have that person in your life that likes to watch them, you may not have heard of these or seen any of these and I think it's something really fun to, to watch with your family and just kind of enjoy. And movies back then, like the, that age of Hollywood to me is so like... I know there was drama back then too, but it was a whole different thing than it is now. Hollywood today is way different than Hollywood back then. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys kind of my favorites. And the first one, I think I've talked about this before, it's The Egg and I. It's Fred McMurray and Claudette Colbert. And basically she's a rich kind of sophisticated city girl. And he is, he's a city boy. But right after they get married, he decides he's gonna quit his job at a law firm and they're gonna move out into this torn up house in the country and raise chickens. And so all this crazy stuff happens. And if you know who Ma and Paul Kettle are, they're like this um, couple that was in tons of movies back then. They're supposed to be like really big, like redneck kind of hick people. And they have like no manners and, and all that stuff. And so they're in this movie as well. They play their neighbors. And it's just a really, really funny movie. It is black and white. And it's one of my favorite movies to watch. And especially in the spring, like this time of year, I really like to watch it. I don't know why. But it's really cute. And you've got to see it. I mean, all the stuff that happens to her, you know, as this little spoiled city girl trying to live out on this chicken farm in this rundown shack. It's just really, really funny. It's kind of probably what would happen to me if I tried to live in the country. I'm so bad about dirt and bugs and farming and digging and all that stuff so it's really really cute i'm going to have everything linked for you guys in the description box but definitely check out the egg and i my second favorite is the long long trailer it's one with lucy ball and desi arnaz as you know married from the show i love lucy uh, in this movie they're not supposed to be lucy and ricky they are um nikki and tacy but basically they get married and he has this job in colorado and i believe they're in california I'm not sure I can't remember but they were gonna go to his new job and instead of flying or whatever she decides they should buy a trailer and haul the trailer you know drive to his new job in this trailer and so all this crazy stuff happens where she like overloads it and it almost falls off the side of a cliff and all of this really funny stuff happens so by the time they get to their destination they are not speaking to each other and of course they're still newlyweds so it's like really traumatic because they already had this big huge blowout and she runs off and leaves and, and all this stuff happens. So you gotta check it out. If you're an if you're a Lucille Ball fan, even if you're not, but especially if you're a Lucille Ball fan, you will love this movie. And it's a classic one that I watch at least once a year, if not more, because it just makes me feel, I don't know, it's comfortable and I love it. So make sure you check out the long, long trailer. And also my favorite wife, Irene Dunn and Cary Grant. And I, when I was in high school, I had an advanced keyboarding research class, which basically all you did all year long was write reports and type them up. So I did a report about Irene Dunn because I think she is one of those actresses that maybe you don't hear about as, as much as some of the other big actresses of that time, but she is so funny. And Cary Grant is amazing. I love him. He's in um, The Bishop's Wife, which is one of my favorite Christmas movies. He's really funny because they're married, they're a married couple and she gets lost at sea somehow and he thinks she's dead because she's been gone all these years. So he gets remarried to this new like snooty girl and they've got him and her have two kids from their marriage. But he remarries this woman and like so they're, that's their stepmom and the day that he marries this new woman, his first wife comes back from the dead like she wasn't dead all this time. Um, so she comes back. So technically he's got two wives and it's a big old mess because he didn't want to tell his new wife that his old wife was back. And so all this stuff happens. 
And of course, his first wife is not making things easy for him. So all these crazy problems happen. And it's just really, really cute. And I think it's one of those classic movies that nobody talks about. I've never heard anybody talking about it before. So definitely check out My Favorite Wife. My next favorite is pretty pretty cliche, but it's Singing in the Rain. I grew up watching that movie over and over and over, and I used to love it when we would go to Disney because Hollywood Studios had the great movie ride, and they had a Singing in the Rain um, part of that ride with Gene Kelly kind of hanging from the pole with the umbrella. I have the CD. My girls have the CD on their iPods, and they like to listen to it. I mean, it's just such a feel-good movie. It is colorized. So it's a little bit later on than my favorite wife and um, the egg and I, but it's a really, really good movie. And I just, if you love musicals and you like Gene Kelly, especially, it's a really good one. Donald O'Connor is in that and Debbie Reynolds, which I liked her at that age. I think it was a really cute age. It was my favorite age for her. I wasn't a fan of some of her later things, um, but I really love that age of her. And I just think it's one of those happy movies that if you're down and in the dumps, and you want to feel better, then pop that movie in because even if you don't watch it like nonstop, you have it in the background, it's just so happy and upbeat. And I really, really love Singing in the Rain. If you have not seen it, you definitely need to check it out. And if you have seen it, but it's been a while, you what are you what are you waiting for? You need to go watch that movie again to remind yourself of how amazing the movie is and how great the songs are. My next favorite, and this is one of the ones that I have converted my daughter to, and it's Wonder Man with Danny Kaye. Um, Danny Kaye, if you know, from White Christmas, there was Danny Kaye and Bing Crosby, and Vera Ellen was in, um, White Christmas too. She's in so many movies with him, and she's in Wonder Man also. Basically, he plays twins, and his twin brother, like, he's real nerdy and like a bookworm, and his twin brother is like this really suave kind of guy about town. He works at a nightclub. He ends up getting killed, so it sounds like it's serious, but it, they make it funny because his brother gets killed, and basically his ghost keeps coming back, and it's not scary, but his ghost keeps coming back to his twin brother trying to have him tell the police this message that he needed to tell them about this crime that he witnessed. That's why he got killed, because he saw a crime. And so the guys kill him, but they get confused because they see the twin brother and think that they didn't kill the first guy. And so all this crazy stuff happens where the ghost is getting in the other guy's body and doing all this crazy stuff. And there's two girls involved, like the, the dead guy's girlfriend and the other guy's girlfriend. And so there's like a love triangle, kind of a weird thing that happens. And you guys have got to watch this movie. My oldest daughter like loves the songs. Danny Kaye is known for like going off on these big like tangent songs that he sings really fast and crazily. And so I think if you're going to watch any of Danny Kaye's movies, you definitely should watch Wonder Man first. I think other than White Christmas, it's probably his best movie ever. So definitely check out Wonder Man. My last favorite is On the Town. Again, one of the ones that I watched over and over and over when I thought I could be a dancer, but I cannot. Um, it's Gene Kelly, Frank Sinatra, and Anne Margaret. No, Anne Miller. I get it mixed up. Anne Miller, not Anne Margaret. That was a whole different generation. Anne Miller. Um, and basically, Frank Sinatra and Gene Kelly play sailors that are on leave in New York, and they all want to get girls. There's another guy, too, but I can't remember his name. So there's three sailors. They get to New York. They get like a one-day pass. And they all want to get girls to go out with that day. And so there's this one girl in particular, which is Vera Ellen's character. She was in White Christmas. She was in Wonder Man. Um, but Gene Kelly decides that he has to have her. He has to meet her. And so they spend the whole day looking for her. And all this stuff happens. And then the other two guys end up finding girls. And it's just really funny. And it's a musical. And it's got lots of, of course, Gene Kelly. So you've got all the great dance scenes and stuff. And Vera Ellen is an amazing dancer. And so she's in that as well. And I just love that movie, and um, I don't like Frank Sinatra. That's one thing I will say. But for a movie with Frank Sinatra in it, he's the least annoying I think I've ever seen him be in a movie. I know a lot of people love Frank Sinatra, but I just don't like him for some reason. But he's okay in this movie. And the other guy, the third sailor, who I cannot remember his name, he's in one of my other favorite classic movies, Easter Parade, and I cannot think of his name, but he's really, really funny. So you definitely need to watch On the Town. You definitely need to watch all of these. I will have them linked for you guys in the description box. I am a classic movie junkie. I had a teacher in high school that was really into classic movies too, and he would always try to stump me with like titles of movies or what certain lyrics from different movies were or a, um, you know something somebody said in a movie. He would always try to stump me to see if I could he could trick me into not knowing the answer. I always knew the answer because I love classic movies. I grew up watching them. I watched that more than I watched anything else. 
and they are just such a part of my childhood. They make me happy, and I think watching those movies and going back to that other time, you know, any movie can transport you, but a lot of movies now, as much as they're great and everything, and I do like a lot of, a lot of new movies, they're a lot of times depressing or these like horrible explosions and, you know, somebody's kidnapped or all these things happen now. And I think movies back then were a lot more lighthearted. Even in Wonder Man where he gets killed, it's kind of funny the way they do it. And it's not depressing like a lot of movies now are. And I think that's one, one of the appeals of classic older movies because everything was lighthearted. You really could go to the movies or watch a movie then and really forget about the times, the worries of that time, which you got to think back then. You know, you had Pearl Harbor and you had, you know, certain wars and things going on that that's what movies were designed to do. They were designed to take you out of this depressing part of reality and give you an hour and a half of dancing and levity and comedy and I love that and I think there's still such a great purpose for those types of movies today. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing some of my favorite classic movies. I have tons of other ones that I can recommend if you guys want more recommendations. So make sure if you like this video you give it a thumbs up so I know to do more like this in the future because I had a really good time like sitting around and thinking of what my favorite movies were. And I had quite a few other ones I wanted to share that did not make the list, but I definitely could share them later on if you're interested. So let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments, what is your favorite classic like old movie that you've ever seen? I'll have these linked for you guys in the description box in case you want to pick them up or check your library for them. I love them and I think you guys will love them too. So thanks so much for watching and make sure you're subscribed if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.